Hey guys, what's up? This is Timmy Bauer here, uh, racing for Above and Beyond Cancer Racing. Um, this is Intelligentsia Cup 2021. Uh, this is night two. Uh, the stage is called Lake Ellen. And super cool course. Uh, as you can see, we're getting away here. And I got a good starting position, which is always a key factor at these big races with over 100 pro ones in this field. Having this, the positioning at the start is really important. So um, as you can see, the course map on the upper right, uh, super curvy, crazy cool course. As you can see, turn one here is kind of a chicane. And um, the course was pretty fast and smooth, but there are a couple hills and there were a couple acceleration points. This, this being one acceleration point right here out of that chicane. And uh, the racing had been really fast. Uh, the level of competition at Intelligentsia Cup is super high. And so we had six guys in this race and my job was to watch uh, the, the front basically early on because uh, I had that starting position and then um, see that I could help my teammates later on that evening. Uh, that was the uphill, one of the uphills of the course, um, and it comes into this off-camber corner here. And as you can see, guys are, um, are really riding good. Um, things were pretty smooth on this course. Uh, the, the concrete was kind of slippery at times, um, but pretty smooth, like there weren't any cracks or potholes, which is really nice. And this was a pinch point of the course. It was, it was a roundabout, and we only used half of it and you could hop up on that inside curb, as you saw some guys to my left do, and then you drop right down the hill next to the lake. And this is a descent into a hard right-hand corner. And because the lake was next to us, it was exposed, and we actually had a tailwind, which was really nice. So this section of the course was super fast. And um, as you can see, just what a cool course, right? Lake to the left, super green. Well, it's the Midwest. The Midwest is, is very green, unlike California. <laughs> So, um, as you can see, I'm just holding my position here, um, getting a feel for the course, and at this point, Legion had two riders, uh, Ty Magner and Alec Cullen, so they were kind of the guys you wanted to watch. Uh, right here, I have Clever Martinez in front of me. Uh, just got off his wheel. Um, right here, we're going downhill into the, the U corner of the course, and this corner was interesting all night because you couldn't take it at full speed you had to slow down there was like a manhole cover right there on the inside so the exit was super bumpy and then it was a huge acceleration out of that corner and there was three main spots for the accelerations and they just added up like paper cuts this race really ended up being a race of attrition and uh, as you can see right here it, this is kind of an uphill section it, it was a bit of acceleration but on on some laps i held better momentum through that corner um, oh, oh. <laughs> a lot of bumping and a lot of bumping, um, just part of crit racing, you know? So this is the last corner here. It was a hard left-hand corner, and this was one of those acceleration spots. Right here, as you can see, you get out of the corner and you really have to hop on the gas. So this spot, uh, out of the U corner and then uh, out of the chicane, those are the three main acceleration spots that I found. And this course had a really good flow to it. Um, but it was you know, tricky with you know 102 other guys racing with you. As you can see, that's that's lap one done. And um, oh, what we got? Oh, this is the chicane. Watch this guy to the left here. Get the little hyphy. Not too bad, but um, that was just a tight spot all night. And right here, a guy comes up the inside. I'm kind of moving up the inside, and boom, we clip. Unfortunately, he went down. That's, that's never good. Nobody wants to go down in crit racing. And um, right here, I'm on the inside, so you can see a big acceleration. Because if you could roll that outside, you held way more momentum through that corner. Um, so there's another match gone right there. So as you can see, I'm trying to patrol the front, be positioned up front. Um, I didn't have any teammates up there with me. Oh, right up at the inside, the Project Echelon Rider launches. That is the winning move right there. You can see Alec Cohen in the gold jersey, kind of 10 riders in front of me. He responds. And I think two other guys responded and a move of four goes right there. And you see we're full gas right here. So I'm kind of looking around, seeing if there's any opportunities to move up. I'm off the side of the Skyline Riders wheel right here. And I was hoping something was gonna open up, but the, as you can see, I'm kind of locked in on the boards. And uh, as I move up right here, I see an opening, but it quickly closes. There's an opening and Clever's like right in the middle of it. I'm like, oh man. So, uh, you know, that move's rolling right there, four guys. And I'm uh, moving up, but I still have no opportunity to try and jump across. 
And out of the chicane, everyone just goes wild. And, and Project Echelon's doing a great job. As you can see, they have a rider on the front patrolling, making sure that gap is there as, as they, they, they initiated this move. Here we go up the hill, everyone attacking. Ty Magner following uh, Clever Martinez there. Project Echelon's also represented. So I'm trying to move up. I'm on the inside of a Project Echelon rider right here. He gives me plenty of room, which is really cool. It's always good to communicate, you know, whenever you're inside somebody, um, communication keeps, you know, people from crashing. And if we can communicate, that's awesome. So as you can see right here, Ty Magner giving Alec Cohen the thumbs up. This was two laps later. When you see Ty Magner giving his teammate the thumbs up, it's never a good sign. Oh, well, that kid got loose right there. I uh, had to throw that in here. This was uh, a little bit further into the race. And as you can see right here, uh, this is a good example. We're just about 30 minutes into the race and gaps are already being opened. Uh, I do a really good job of not spiking the heart rate or the power too much to get across this gap. But it's like, man, I'm top, top 35 right now. So there's 50 plus riders behind me and there's already gaps being opened. So that shows you how the night was. It was really fast and this course was really challenging with the hills. Oh, this guy gets loose again right here. <laughs> Adam Anderson is next to me and that, that's who's talking to me. At this point, we're just trying to keep each other from crashing and if we can communicate, even if you're not on the same team, it, it helps, you know. Right here, I got Hayden Warner next to me, my teammate. We're having a quick chat. Rolling into the U-turn the right here. And this, this corner was hard all night because People would dive bomb up the inside just like that. And then it, you get chopped and it kills your momentum. Um, this kid on the inside right here hits the pothole and drops his chain. I was like, ah, oh, dude. So that was that was tight, but he was coolly moved over. But then he spikes right up next to me. And I'm like, hey man, just, just chill. Like, you're good, you're good. I mean, if I can help him, that helps me because you know neither of us go down. But as you can see, I spiked my power to get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> oh, this is Lucas in front of me. He goes for a little bit of a ride right there. <laughs> he kept it safe though, so that was cool. And um, this is towards the end of the race. This is five to go. And as you can see, gaps are being opened again. Um, I think the front group was maybe 38 that finished. And right here, I'm hoping this gap get, gets closed. Um, kind of trying to save for the hill. But when I get a peek around him, there's a there's a gap. And so I kind of surge around him to try and close it here into the corner. I make up a little bit of ground. And we're heading into the hill. So I was hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, that I can make this 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 gap. But as you can see, they're still pulling away from me. And I am uh, spiking it pretty hard right here. So. That was to no avail, but check out the crowd. I mean, the crowds were fantastic. What a fun night of racing. This was three to go. Um, I got pulled, but I mean, that happens. That's part of bike racing. I did my best. I was able to help my teammates. I was able to be up there early, which was my job. So job done and uh, pull her off. Um, really had a fun time, but boy, this course is deceivingly hard. Um, obviously all the corners, it looks hard, but there's more climbing it than I really thought there was gonna be. Well, that was more climbing than expected. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. This was my first video project, so it can only go up from here, right? Anyways, thanks to all these awesome sponsors. They make it happen. And thanks to my team. Cheers.